South Korea is set to engage in a flurry of nuclear diplomacy following last week's summit with China. This week, South Korean officials will hold talks with their counterparts in China and the United States ahead of a possible rocket launch by Pyongyang next month. Hwang Sung-hee reports. South Korea will engage in back-to-back -back nuclear diplomacy this week as part of ongoing efforts to curb North Korea's nuclear ambitions. On Monday, South Korean officials in charge of North Korea affairs will meet with Chinese deputy nuclear negotiator Xiao Chen in Seoul. It will be the first such meeting since last week's summit talks in Beijing. President Park Geun-hye and Chinese President Xi Jinping had called for a swift resumption of meaningful six-party nuclear talks. The multilateral dialogue involving the two Koreas, the United States, China, Japan and Russia has been stalled for nearly seven years. Separately, South Korea's chief nuclear envoy Hwang Jung-guk is scheduled to travel to Washington in the latter half of the week for talks with his U.S. counterpart Sung Kim. He also plans to stop in New York to meet with representatives of the 15 U.N. Security Council member states. The flurry of nuclear diplomacy comes ahead of a possible rocket launch by Pyongyang next month. There is growing speculation that North Korea will fire a long-range missile sometime around October 10th to mark the 70th anniversary of the founding of its ruling Workers' Party. The pressure on Pyongyang is expected to intensify when the Chinese leader meets with U.S. President Barack Obama at the end of this month. But while Seoul and Washington have called for China to play a more constructive role in bringing about change in North Korea, it remains to be seen how far Beijing is willing to go against its longtime ally. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.